Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Malkwe of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning. Sinister doorways. You get it as questionable doorways. Now, in Luke 22, 3, I, I just stumbled upon something. You know, the whole saga of uh, Jesus and Judas it's, it's a very intriguing one. It's a very, very, I mean, I, I, can't, I sometimes can't find it. I, I, I can't even explain. And I try to reason or rationalize, and most of the time I'm left in a quandary. Not because, of, but a lot of things were, were inexplicable to me. Number one, do you remember Jesus, I mean, sitting at a table and then telling the disciples that, listen, somebody is going to betray me. And then everybody is worried. Everybody is perplexed. You get it? Everybody is sad. Why? Because uh, somebody among them is going to do this dastardly act and all those other things. That was a very big bother to, to, to the disciples. Then finally they said, who is it? Who is it? Then Jesus gave them a clue. He didn't even say, is this person? He gave them a clue. And the clue was, whoever puts his hand into the pot with me, the uh, mess of pottage with me, that person is the one. And to my biggest surprise, I mean, listen, if I'm, I'm, I'm Judas and I've been told that, I mean, Jesus said that, I will keep my hands and tie my hands to my legs and hold it. But guess what? I mean, Judas then goes on to put his hand there. So everything. There. And in Luke 22, 3, the Bible said something that was very startling. He said, and then Satan entered into Judas. And Satan entered into Judas. Sinister doorways. Satan entered into Judas. Now, wait, 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 wait a minute. I mean, I'm very baffled and I'm very troubled. Because I, I did not, Judas was among the 12 who were sent in twos, two by two, who were filled with power, who were endued with power by the Holy Ghost to go around and go and heal the sick. It, Judas was part of the 12 when they came back rejoicing and saying demons were, were scared of us and all those things after our practical lessons. Judas was part. Then Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. So Judas had all the credentials. I mean, that, uh, the others had. I mean, but guess what? Th th this is what was a little bit baffling for me. With all this, Satan entered into him. A disciple? Somebody close to Jesus? And then the enemy entering into that person? Hmm. That's food for thought. You know what this simply means? You can be anointed, you can be gifted, but if you're not very careful, you can open yourself up to something very dangerous. Your offense could become a doorway, and that was what Peter, your greed can open you up to something else. And so your, your subsequent actions, it's not you, it's somebody else acting through you. Even though you bear full responsibility for it, you open the door. So, uh, my submission this morning concerning sinister doorways, who opened the door for the enemy to enter? It was Judas. It was Judas. So, sometimes there are things that we do, and you'd be very, very surprised. You can be around a pastor, you can be around a big man of God, and you can be, but something has entered into you. Something other than God is operating. Your actions and the things that you're doing, it is something else than God. That means, and if you watch, Judas' whole process was counterproductive. It was destructive to what God wanted to do. It was destructive. It was destructive to the disciples because they're going to disrupt their, 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 and their, their they, they are, they are peace and all, all is going to shake their very foundation. They're going to be cowering in fear in a few days' time. This, th this is it. So something entered into, into, into Judas, and that was what led to his misbehavior. Sinister doorways that you make sure 
that you don't open yourself up by your greed to something else, so that something else is operating. And everybody thinks it is. No, no, no. Greed has, has taken over you. Greed has uh, taken over you in such a way that you can't even think. That means you've lost your senses. You are no longer in control of who you are. Something else is controlling you. Something else is controlling you. For Judas, it was greed. For Judas, it was offense. For Judas, it was disappointment. And sometimes that's what happens. So in your bitterness, in your disappointment, in your discipline, be careful you don't open yourself up for something else to enter. I know we say, great I see that is in me than in that is in the world. But if you open yourself up, you'll be filled. Sinister doorways are not created by the enemy. We create them for the enemy to enter. For the enemy to, we, somebody, we go and invite him into our situations. No matter what you do, be careful that you don't open a sinister doorway for the enemy to come in and operate from you. See you later and God bless.